Now, you may have seen the pictures of Prince Harry yesterday. He was snapped leaving a nightclub, looking a bit worse for wear. And although the Royal has entertained us with a variety of style faux pas over the years, never before has he been seen with hot pink fingernails, which he allegedly allowed a female clubber to paint in the VIP lounge. So it begs the question, why do we think some things are so hilarious when we're drunk? <laughs> they are! <laughs> things are much funnier, aren't they? Yeah, they are! As long as everyone else around you is also as drunk. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but we and Carl yeah. don't care, do we? No, no, we don't. We, you know, people say, "Did you regret showing your pants at the um, at the RTS Awards?" But no. no. <laughs> No, I was only. I can understand you because yours were really nice lacy pants, but yours were just mine. Mine were control pants. Yes, I do. I do remember. Down to my knees. But because I'd heard in our drunkenness, I'd heard that Carol had flashed, and I somehow, when I'm drunk, seem to think that people want to look at my underwear, and they don't. So I was trying to see if I could flash my boobs at the cameras because Carol had done it, and I couldn't get it off. So I just went outstairs and lifted. I lifted the door. Panicking because. Just just the other Sunday I had some people around for a for a, for a quiet little um drink on, on the Sunday and we got drunk, me and the girls. And we thought, I think they might have a picture of it, we thought it would be the most hilarious thing in the world if we put the pack of knickers that I just bought from the supermarket on top of our clothes and put bananas and red noses down to make willies. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, the woman second on the right is my son's girlfriend's mum Jo. I had a few sherries as well and I've got this power plate machine for trying to keep fit which jiggles like this. It might not get you fit but it keeps a smile on your face I can tell you that. Jiggles like this. And her and I were drunk contorting ourselves into these shapes on the power plate and I just remember turning around and Matt and Jodie came in and just did that. <laughs> and walked down, <laughs> walked down, got in the car, and drove away. Oh, but it, yeah, but it, 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 it's funny, yeah. I know, it's but it's when you wake up and you start. At first, you don't really remember anything, and then you start having these sort of flashbacks of things come back. to I remember yeah. once when this was this before I moved to the states. I was just there for a weekend interviewing someone. I can't remember who, and I was there with my good friend Helena, who works for EMI, and we were staying in a ho hotel. And then, but we went to dinner at a different hotel. Anyway, so I wake up the next morning. And on the dressing table, there's loads of really gorgeous silver cutlery. Just loads and loads of it. <laughs> and at first I thought, I don't remember ordering room service or having that many people back in my hotel. And then I looked at the cutlery and it said Beverly Hills Hotel on it, but I wasn't staying at the Beverly Hills Hotel. <laughs> <laughs> It transpires through the flashbacks and the information that I got from Helena that apparently at one point I was I couldn't be moved from the from the from the floor of the ladies' loo at the Beverly Hills Hotel, the big pink one, because I was crying hysterically, thinking it was so funny that we'd robbed the silver. But it, but it is for you. It's funny anyway because it's just so wrong coming from you doing things yeah, like that. Like the, the next day we sort of did a bit of a drop by <coughs> cutlerying. Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, we did. Oh, I would. Well, I, I, when when I was younger in my 20s me and my family used to go to parties a lot and um, we used to insist every time it was the rule every party we went to we had to steal something <laughs> and I know it's terrible it's really really bad and it's, I'm not proud of it and it's not big and it's not clever but oh it was funny <laughs> we used to, once we stole a chair a out chair of out of someone's house <laughs> yeah we walked out with you a chair not, not noticed on no, the no, and I woke up in the morning and was like, <coughs> what's that chair doing there? Oh my God, it came from the house. Anyway, it wasn't funny in the morning. And actually, we did return something. Like, I don't know why, but we just, we thought this chair well, was ours Colin and took it back. But what the other thing I did when I was, when I was a little bit worse for wear, was at a leaving party of mine and, I, and someone dared me, bad idea to dare me to do things when I've been having a drink. And someone dared me to walk naked across this massive catwalk across the restaurant. And it was like a mess catwalk so sort of you above the diners right above the diners <laughs> to get to the toilet <laughs> 
so I did. <laughs> I did. I honestly did. I took all my clothes off at the bottom of the stairs, walked up, walked over to the toilet door, walked back, put, walked back downstairs and put, put my clothes oh, back on. Did, did you make a round of applause? Or, or did they all just stop eating? Yeah. And leave? <laughs> um, no, I, I, well, everybody I was with thought it was just too funny. Well, like, the thing is, I, I've never Surely let you myself never get to that stage, I girl, thought, I'm afraid. So. But I do find it funny that drunks find things so funny. Like, they always get hysterical after. Ray gets hysterical when he's drunk and it makes me laugh because I'm trying to say to him it's really not that funny as the tears are just not you know what I mean and it's like when like you if I was with you and you go cheer let's look at you and when you're sober you want to go let's not <laughs>